second open house impeachment hearing is over. Former ambassador to Ukraine, Marie Ivanovich, testified for about five hours today, telling investigators she was given no reason for her sudden dismissal after 33 years of service. The House Intelligence Committee will hear from eight more impeachment witnesses next week. One local political expert says many people are confused about what impeachment actually means. News 8's Jordan Fremstad is here to clear that up. Jordan. Yeah, Mike and Martha, a lot of people may think impeachment means removal from office, but no president in U.S. history has actually been removed from office. However, we have had two presidents impeached by the House, Now I spoke to a local political expert, Joe Heim, to find out what needs to happen for unprecedented history to take place. The impeachment proceedings into President Donald Trump continue with testimony from the former Ukraine ambassador. There has already been testimony behind closed doors. Local political expert Joe Heim says this public testimony is mainly for the public and media to hear firsthand. The idea is that uh, you can get to let the public watch this stuff and decide for themselves uh, whether this is impeachable. The U.S. Constitution allows the House to impeach the president under Article 2, Section 4 if evidence shows the president did something relating to treason and bribery or other high crimes and misdemeanors. However, the line appears to be gray on what a high crime is. Democrats seem to be relatively satisfied already that there's sufficient evidence to proceed with a high crime. Uh, and, and the Republicans on the obviously don't agree with that, basically. The House needs a simple majority of its 435 voting members to impeach the president. Since the House is controlled by Democrats, it is likely they will move to impeach the president. But that doesn't mean President Trump will be removed from office. In fact, this has never been done in U.S. history. Essentially, articles of impeachment are versions of charges. The House indicts and the, the jury is essentially the U.S. Senate. Andrew Johnson and Bill Clinton were impeached, but they were not removed from office. The President of the United States put his hand in a Bible in, a, uh, in some kind of a trial that he did not have sex with Monica Lewinsky. I did not have sexual relations with that woman. Is it a, a crime? Yes, it is. Is it a high crime? The House said yes, it is. The Senate said no. The Senate is controlled by Republicans and most stand by the President. And it's unlikely it will get the two-thirds vote needed to remove the President. Heim says the evidence that is presented in these hearings won't likely change the minds of Democrats in the House or Republicans in the Senate. This is a good reflection of the polarization of the country. Now, Heim says a timeline on when this could all come to fruition is hard to say. It could take a couple of months or a year, depending on how fast Congress moves through these hearings. All right, thanks so much, Jordan. Also, Congress will take a break from the hearings for the weekend, but they do plan to begin again on Tuesday. Lieutenant Colonel Alexander S. Vindman, the top Ukraine expert for the National Security Council, also Jennifer Williams, an aide to Vice President Mike Pence, are both expected to testify.